Hello, I'm Eric Rello. This is a video for tipsquirrel.com and in this video we're going to look at one of the Photoshop fundamentals, taking one image and popping it into another. Now there's several ways we can do this, so let's jump into Photoshop and have a look. Here I am in Photoshop. I need to get a couple of images. I've gone over to Adobe Stock and I've got a couple here, one of the White House and then one of this 3D illustration of a flying saucer. Now the flying saucer is a little bit big, so let's go to image and image size. I'm going to take that down to about 20 centimeters. There we go. Let's fit that back on screen by pressing Control or Command zero and then zooming out Control or Command minus. OK, good. Next, what I want to do is just add a quick mask to this. So with the quick selection tool, I'm going to go and select everything that I don't want, which is the white. I'm going to select and inverse and then come down just here and add a mask. There we go. Easy as that. Now what I want to do is I want to take the flying saucer over to my other image. So let's click on the flying saucer. Then we can go to select and all and then edit and copy. And you'll notice that these all have shortcut keys. So that would have been control or command A, control or command C, and then come over and we can paste that down, edit and paste. And there we have it. But you'll notice that the mask didn't come with it. This does not allow us to have the mask. So that's one way of doing it. We could then add the mask. Let's pop that away. We could then add a mask just as we did before. But if you've spent a long time doing a mask, that can be a bit of a bind. Next, let's do another way. And that's just dragging and dropping. So let's go and get the move tool. And I can click on the layer here. Oh, I've got the scissors there because I've still got the selection. So let's deselect that. Control or Command D. So now I've got my move tool. I can just click anywhere on the layer. And then you can see that I can move this around and the mask is moving with it, which means that when I come over onto the tab there, it switches over to this other image. I've still got my mouse pressed down, come over onto my image, let go. And there we have my flying saucer with the mask as well. Okay, that's the second way of doing it. Let's take this and drop it away and then go back to my flying saucer. And here's the other way. I'm going to come over and get my marquee tool. And with the marquee tool selected, I can right click on the image and I can duplicate the layer. It will ask me where I want to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it as UFO. So I can name this on the fly and I can say what document I wanted to go into. So you can see this has got quite a long name because it comes from Adobe Stock, but it ends in E39. So let's see if we can find that one. There we go. The White House ending in E39. That's the one we want. Click OK. Now nothing seems to change, but if I go over to my White House, there it is. And we've got the mask as well. I can then get the move tool and pop that into place. So there we go. Three ways of taking one image and putting it onto another ready for a composite. I'm Eric Reno. Don't forget to check out all the nuts over at tipsquirrel.com and subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course, for more updates in the near future. Bye-bye for now.